Not a big. You ain't coming off. <laughs> uh, that makes it a little bit better. Hey guys, Wes Logan here, and I want to give you a little tip about what I like to do. You know, we're going to be fishing in mid-February, you know, going to be really cold months uh, all throughout the south and the north. Um, but what I want to talk to you about a little bit is most of the time in wintertime, people are going to be focusing on rocks or bluffier type banks where if you go into a lake that has a lot of vegetation that it may be dead in the winter time well i like to focus on that vegetation where it's matted up in places because that can heat up just like the rocks do and i'm going to give you a little rundown of how i attack those uh mats um if, if i'm coming into a cold front situation where it's still cold outside on a cold i call it a colding trend um i like to use just a z crawl junior from zoom uh i got it here on an ounce and a quarter weight from arc uh, just with a regular weight stop or a bobber stop or whichever one you like to use. Um, but I like to use it just the bare bait and I'll get in a little bit into that here in a minute. But it's a really small profile that I think these fish like under those mats in a cold front situation. Now going from there, if let's say it's been warm for a couple of days and you know the fish have probably been living under these mats a little while I'll, and they seem to be a little bit more active i'll actually put a punch skirt on it and this is just a black and blue punch skirt um, from dirty jigs they come in a pack of two uh, i've got it rigged here on an ounce and a quarter also um, your weight size is going to depend on how thick the mat is and you know it, you can go up to a two ounce or down to a three quarter it really just depends on how thick it is just so you can go in and out of it pretty easily uh, the hook that I normally use um, most of the time flipping is a 4 aught uh, straight shank Gamagatsu heavy cover flipping hook. Uh, just I, I stay with a 4 aught most of the time. Um, one of my favorite baits that I have tied up or rigged up on both of these is the Zoom Z Crawl Junior. Uh, I just like the, the profile of it. It fits good with that 4 aught hook. Uh, my flipping rod all the time is a Arc Randall Tharp series. It's a Gunnersville Special. It's a 7-Eleven heavy. Uh, it's just it's got a good tip and got some good backbone the reel is a loose pro ti 75 to 1 gear ratio and 60 pound um sunline braid fx2 uh, i always flip with 60 uh, light you know thinner stuff thicker stuff i just always like 60. Uh, there's some guys that like smaller diameters i'm a, I'm a 60 guy but if I'm ever on a lake that has vegetation, you know, it's something I want to check in the wintertime months. I know a classic a few years back on Gunnersville, Jordan Lee almost ended up winning that tournament, flipping grass where everybody else was, you know, cranking bridges or throwing a lipless out on a flat or anything like that. So if you're ever in that situation, be sure to check it out. Use those uh, techniques and baits that I showed you and hold on.